A bipartisan team of lawmakers visited Turks and Caicos to help bring home five detained Americans, including one man from Virginia. Chad Pergram has more on the story from Capitol Hill. A coalition of bipartisan bicameral lawmakers organizing to help five American tourists. They face a minimum of 12 years in prison for accidentally leaving ammunition in their luggage on recent visits to the Turks in Caicos. A delegation of lawmakers met with officials from the islands. They hope to get the charges reduced to a customs fine since the Americans posed no threats and carried no guns. They go there complete, completely of the best intention. They are not the ones sparking any sort of criminal activity or any sort of gang-related activity. But Oklahoma Senator Mark Wayne Mullen called the meetings unproductive. He said officials do not trust the American criminal justice system. And other lawmakers claim the Biden administration is not making this a priority. The State Department has not been actually very helpful. Uh, so that's why we went down as congressional delegation to meet with the governing authorities there. Eighty percent of all tourism in Turks and Caicos comes from the U.S., some lawmakers are considering asking the State Department to issue a travel warning to the islands, while others are threatening economic retaliation. But Pennsylvania Democrat John Fetterman says he remains optimistic. He added that Turks and Caicos officials were, quote, understanding of the need to resolve the issue. I'm optimistic. You know, he spent too much time there, but now we've been able to expedite this. And actually, the TCI leadership appreciated us all coming down there, and that really brought it to the forefront. The first sentencing hearing for the detained Americans is scheduled for Friday. On Capitol Hill, Chad Pergram, Fox News.